Hello fellow Agilists and welcome to my channel. I am Ruben Tena, your Agile coach. Today we are going to talk about SAFE. What is SAFE and why you should care. And spoiler alert, I believe that you should care. And at the end of the video, I will share you where is my favorite place to start and which certification I consider that is the best. Okay, so let's get started. SAFE stands for Scale Agile Framework. It's a product of Scale Agile. Scale Agile is the name of the company behind SAFE. And this framework is popular for helping to implement Agile at scale. So it was clear? <laughs> Trying to explain it in that way is super confusing, I know. So let me try one more time. There is a company named Scale Agile. That's the name of the company, okay? And this company, a group of experts decided to create a framework, okay? So then we have this company called Scale Agile and they created a framework, the Scale Agile Framework. So normally we refer to it and probably to avoid confusions as SAFE. The objective of the SAFE framework is not just to bring Agile at scale, that's a common misunderstanding, but the real objective of SAFE is to help organizations to achieve business agility. So that's the key. SAFE recognizes that it's not only about having execution agility, I mean having individuals and team, people, a group of people like doing Agile in several groups together. So having multiple Scrum, Kanban, you name it, teams working together, that doesn't create an Agile organization and not achieve by themselves business agility. So what SAFE is telling us in multiple ways is that we need both execution agility and strategic agility. So how we can connect from the vision of the founder of the CEO of the organization to what our people is executing. So that means that everyone must be working in this way. Individuals, team, organizations of all departments, not only IT. So we are going to include finance, we are going to include uh, human resources and you name it. How this framework achieve this business agility? So you will see that inside of the framework, we have a combination that is pretty great about Agile, DevOps, and Lean. So if you have been working in this Agile industry for a while, you will be quite familiar with everything inside of, of SAFE, okay? And to be honest, I believe that is pretty cool. So, SAFE is not only a framework anymore. So SAFE is a system and as a system, it has three main components. The first component is a knowledge base. So when you navigate to scaleagileframework.com website, and this website is going to receive you with image like this. It's a big picture. They call it like that. So this big picture contains all the elements, all the practices, roles, components, tools, ideas to implement a safe and to achieve business agility. So all the knowledge is stored inside of this big picture. All the elements of the big picture are clickable. So as soon as you click in one of them, you will see a full article behind it that will explain in details everything. So this is one of the things that I like the most about the framework is that all the knowledge is there, is available and is free. So you just need to spend your time and navigating and set it, setting up uh, safe as you wish and all the information is there. So this knowledge base is also pretty good and it helps you during the implementation because all the people can refer to a single source of truth. That is really nice. 
The second component of the SAFE system is training and certification program. So if you don't have the time to go and navigate by yourself or you just need some initial guidance or having a better understanding of how do you implement SAFE, you can use their training and certification program and also it's going to help you a lot with your uh, resume. Okay. So if you click in the save big picture in the implementation roadmap, I like this view because it helps you to see all the different certifications and trainings that are available and when they make sense according to your implementation roadmap. So you have leading save, lean portfolio, uh, trainings for product managers, scrum masters, architects for the teams itself and also for the Agile coaches, uh, the SPCs, the safe practice consultants that will help you all over the place. So there are multiple certifications, some are more general, some are more focused on the role that you have. So you have a place to choose, so you need them, are there and are available and you can take it directly from Scale Agile or from some of the gold partners. And the third component of a safe system is safe studio so they have like this online platform this website when you can access to the course to the trainings to the materials uh, related to your training to all your classes and batch and so on also in this place you will have access to different tools that will help you during implementation workshops powerpoints template they even have a collaboration platform and uh, but also the key is the community okay so they have this series of, of forums that are, can be focused by role by journey so when you can ask and interact with other uh, safe uh, specialists that can help you in your journey. OK, so safe is a system, not only a framework that is composed by knowledge, a knowledge base that is really good training and certification program and the safe studio platform. So pretty robust according whatever are your needs. Final topic is why you should care. So why SAFE is so popular and why it's a good idea to learn it, even if it's not so straightforward. So it requires some effort, to be honest. So you can check pretty much any Agile survey. And here is an example of the State of Agile Report 2022. And if you see the list. So of the organizations that are implementing Agile at scale. So you will see that 53% of them are using or thinking to use scale Agile framework. So in this sense, I think uh, SAFE is kind of the new Scrum that is getting a lot of popularity. So it is there, it's in the market, you will see jobs, positions, asking about this knowledge, about these certifications, companies are trying to implement it, to use it because it's pretty robust. Okay. So even if you like safe like me, or if you hate it, it's good to have a clear understanding. So it can help you during your implementation, or if you want to fight against a safe that you have all the knowledge to require to say what will work and what will not work. That's the first thing. The second, this is how I answer this question. So why you should save not Nexus, not less, not other scale agile framework. And from my experience is just because it works. It helps you uh, a lot. So it has all the guidance that you need if you need it. So they are not going to force you to use everything that they have there, but if it's the first time that you are doing Agile at scale, all the guidance really helped you. Some of the other frameworks are really good too. I like everything, but are less prescriptive in the way that they let you to take a lot of decisions. But if you have zero experience taking that decision, so it's going to be even more difficult. So it is robust, but it gives you the freedom to use whatever you need. And the last thing why I 
I believe that it's a good idea to learn about SAFE and why they have a good approach is because it evolves, so it's not the same. So right now, there have been six versions so far about the framework. They are learning from experience, from the input from the customers, from them teaching, learning and implementing the framework. So the framework is evolving and I like that. So it's not like they just define something since the beginning, some type of guide, and then that's it forever, and that is perfect. So it's not like this short guide that somebody pretends you to use. It doesn't matter the level of maturity of your organization, so the framework is evolving. So a clear example is this a Safe 6 version, where they introduce a lot of topics about flow, and it's really good. They are bringing all those good practices that I relate the most with Kanban and, and it's brand new. So it's, it's making your life just easier. And that's something that I like because defining everything up front sounds more like a waterfall for me. It's evolving and I believe that is a good thing. Overall, learning about SAFE is going to be just helpful for your career doesn't matter the role that you are All right so that is safe safe now is a system so it's a product also developed and maintained by this organization called scale agile inside of the safe system you are going to have this knowledge base training and certification program and the safe studio platform that will help you within your journey ah and finally where to start, what I recommend and why. For me, the best place to start with SAFE is with the leading SAFE certification that is going to give you the SA SAFE Agilist badge. And why I like it, and I pretty much believe that that's the only certification <laughs> that you will really need. So in leading SAFE, when I'm teaching this class, so we are going to see a overall overview of the SAFE framework. So we are going to focus on essential safe, what it means, how to navigate this knowledge base, what are the main components, and then we are going to answer all the questions that you can possibly have. So you have already experience doing Agile, being a Scrum Master, or with other frameworks. This is the training that is going to give you that initial overview of everything. So you can, uh, after this training, navigate pretty much by uh, yourself or ensure that you know how to execute the role that you already have in an organization that is implementing SAFE. So I recommend to focus on this one, start with this one, then go and do some SAFE. And in the future, if you require some more specific role, like release train engineer, for example, probably it's a good idea to take that one. But in the majority of cases, I believe that this one is going to be leading safe, is going to be more than enough. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, before I destroy my system, thank you very much for your time. Please leave in the comments if you want me to explore any topic more in depth or what should I talk uh, next. Please let me know and I will be happy to do so. Subscribe if you didn't do it yet. And thank you very much one more time. Cheers to your IELTS success. Bye-bye.